Slowly but surely, more people are going back to work in person in offices in downtown Raleigh. This is a live look at the Raleigh skyline, where more than 88% of office space is leased. But restaurants and other businesses say they aren't seeing the people who should come along with that. WRO's Brett Neese is live on Fayetteville Street looking into this for us. Brett, show us some of the things businesses and organizations are doing to get more people working downtown. Yeah, Gerald, the Downtown Raleigh Alliance says it all starts here at the ground level. To get people back in these buildings and working downtown, the storefronts have to offer something that people want, which is why the owners of this block here are renovating all of these buildings so that they can put more businesses in that will be successful. Businesses that are already here downtown tell me they're already doing anything they can to get customers through the door. A dreary Thursday makes for slow business downtown these days. People working from home, it, it, they stay home on days like today. Which is why Oak City Meatball General Manager Adam Shearer is doing what he can to get customers back through the door. The restaurant opens at 11.30 a.m. and Shearer says he'd like to see more office workers stop by for lunch. It's starting, but it's going to take time. It's going to take time. And times have changed. President and CEO of Downtown Raleigh Alliance, Bill King, tells me more and more companies are reshaping what their downtown footprint looks like since many of them still allow their employees a hybrid or work from home schedule. What you're seeing is a lot of really small or smaller leases pop up, right? So we don't necessarily see nearly as many um, big, large, you know, taking down lots of floors, you know, type leases. King says at the same time, their occupancy rate in downtown is up to about 88%. We were probably pre-pandemic somewhere in the 90s of occupancy, um, so it's leasing, right, versus now being in the upper 80s. On utilization, there's definitely still a gap. I mean, there's no question about that. That means while the office space is taken up by a company, people aren't always in it and using it. The organization has done things to make people more comfortable with coming downtown by putting an emphasis on cleanliness, bright street lights, and safety. All things Shear says will hopefully translate to more people filling seats inside his restaurant. Hopefully in the future we will get everybody back in the city. Um, I mean, it's coming back slowly but surely, but it's still not 100%. Yeah. That's for sure. So another thing that will help some of these ground level businesses is the number of residential units that are under construction right now. There's over 2,000 units that are being built. Add in all the units that are in the planning and proposed phase, that number jumps to over 10,000 residential units. So Gerald, there's still a lot of transformation going on here downtown. Yeah, the growth never stops. Brett Neese live in Raleigh. Thank you, Brett.